my name is Nicole and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this paper plate ichthyosaur. Ichthyosaurs are an extinct group of aquatic reptiles that lived in the Mesozoic era, which was 251 to 65 million years ago. Aquatic just means that they lived in water. Does this look like a modern animal? Even though they do look a lot like fish or dolphins, they're actually more closely related to lizards and snakes. Ichthyosaurs were fierce predators. They could use their streamlined bodies to move through the water at fast speeds and had a mouthful of sharp teeth. The materials we'll need for our ichthyosaur are construction paper, a paper plate, a pen or a pencil, scissors, tape, paint and a paintbrush, but if you want to use crayons or markers to color your ichthyosaur, that works just as well glue and markers like I said and then if you do paint a newspaper to cover your table just so you don't get it dirty. First thing you're going to do is draw a line on your paper plate like so and then we're going to cut it out. And the top piece is going to be the body of our ichthyosaur. On the body, you're going to draw two lines like so. And then we are going to cut those lines. Then you're going to push that middle piece back and then pull the two pieces together so our ichthyosaur looks a bit more 3D. Then you're going to put the body away for now, and on our larger piece, we are going to draw the mouth of our ichthyosaur. So do a shape like so, and then you're going to cut it out. And cut down the middle so that our ichthyosaur has a mouth that's open. There's our two pieces. Next you're going to draw the dorsal fin, which is the fin on the back of the ichthyosaur, and then cut it out. Flip over your ichthyosaur and we are going to tape the mouth on. And like I said, we're going to tape it so it has an open mouth. Like so. And we're also going to tape on our dorsal fin right now. Then we're going to draw our fins, or the two of our fins, and they have these kind of fishtail looking things on them, which we're going to use to help us make our fins look a bit more 3D when we take these on the front of the ichthyosaur. And we're going to cut these out.
and there we have our two fins. Next, we are going to draw our two back fins, and they don't need the fish tails at the end. So you can draw them like so, and then we're going to cut them out. And now we have our four fins. Next, we're going to be cutting the tail of the ichthyosaur. So it's shaped like this with a line down the middle because it's going to be a part just like our mouth. And then we're going to cut this out as well. And cut it down the middle. And now we have all of our fins. So we are going to tape the tail fins on so you flip your ichthyosaur over. And our tail starting to look pretty good. Flip it back over and then you are going to tape the back fins on and flip the ichthyosaur back over now we're going to tape the front fins on and you'll see why that fishtail kind of on the fins comes in handy because when we tape it on these fins are going to stick away from the ichthyosaur making it look more 3D. Our ichthyosaur is really starting to take shape. Looking pretty good. Alright, now I'm using the hole in the tape to make a circle, but if you have like a quarter or something else round, or even if you want to freehand it, um, make a circle and then cut it out. And this is going to be our ichthyosaur's eye. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is cut out a bunch of sharp teeth, and I'm not going to do all of them in frame, but about 15 or so teeth works pretty well. Just make sure they're sharp. Put the teeth aside, and then the next thing you're going to do is paint your ichthyosaur. Um, the blue I had was a bit too dark, so I mixed it with some white. But if you want your ichthyosaur to be lighter, mix it with more white. If you want it to be darker, maybe with black. Or if you like the blue, just do that. And we're going to paint the body and the tail fins and the mouth, but leave the other fins white for now. We're actually going to paint those a lighter color in just a moment. And I add some white to make a lighter blue. and then add this to our fins that make the fins pop a little bit more. I also add some to the mouth just to give it a little more dimension, make it look a little more 3D. And don't forget the dorsal fin like I almost did. 
All right, now we're going to draw a pupil on our eye. And then get some tape. And if you know how to make it in a circle like this, that helps it stick on. Put it on the back of the eye and then tape it down. And then the next step is to glue our teeth on. So you'll put glue on the mouth. And this does take a bit of time. I did fast forward through it, but just be patient. You want your teeth to look good. All right. And this is our final product. So you are welcome to draw any kind of underwater scene you want. I added a few plants and I hope you had fun making your ichthyosaur.